Welcome and this is third update of Tropical Storm Alberto. Yeah, it's getting closer to landfall in Mexico right now and it's supposed to make uh, the landfall at the midnight. It is right now located at 21.5 north and 95.9 west. Its maximum wind right now is 45 knots with gusts being unknown and pressure of 993 millibars. My analysis is 45 knots and 992 millibars. It's now moving westwards at 9 mph. The tropical cyclone is now bringing its broad surge of moisture towards northeastern Mexico and southern Texas. The landfall is, is expected to occur at the midnight of the 20th. The forecast track is that the storm is going to make landfall south of Tampico and slightly has no northwest inland in the midday. The storm is going to turn into remnants and the final advisory may occur at 18Z. The sea surface temperature is hot with a temperature of 29 to 31 Celsius. The wind shear wouldn't affect too much to the intensification of the storm and the current intensity and maybe the peak for the system during its lifespan. Here's the intensification forecast. Category 1, 10%, Category 2, 5%, Category 3, 0%, Category 4, 0, and Category 5, 0. A TOCOS is right now cold yellow in effect with a score of 56. The rainfall is expected to peak at 20 inches or 508 millimeters. Heavy rainfall is applied from north of Corpus Christi, Texas to south of Rio Grande River. The flash flood rate is moderate from Brownsville to Laredo, slight from Corpus Christi to Roswell, New Mexico, and marginal from Houston to Midland, Texas. The peak storm surge forecast is up to 4 feet from Seven Pass to Sargent, Texas, and up to 3 feet from Vermilion, Cameron Parish Line to Seven Pass, and Sargent to mouth of Rio Grande River. The tropical storm watch is from Lake Jackson to Peso Rica, Mexico. So if you're in this low zones right now, just prepare for the worst from a storm and stay strong through this.